So we stopped to get something to eat and Braylon bites into her food and what happened? Braylon was younger, so Scott played baseball, and Brianna played softball, and Jordan played baseball. But when kids are younger, you can't get them into baseball or softball until they're a little bit older. So when you're four, you can play soccer. So to get Braylon active into something, I signed her up for soccer when she was four years old. Well, needless to say, Braylon fell in love with soccer and never had an interest to play softball. Every year when it would come time for softball sign-ups, Scott would be like, Braylon, you sure you don't want to sign up for softball this year? And Braylon would get so upset and she'd start crying and she's like, why do I have to play softball? I just want to play soccer. And so of course I would sign her back up for soccer and probably, this is no lie, probably five years later, Scott finally gave up on a little bit of the pressure of leaning towards the softball thing because he was not a fan of soccer at all. He didn't like the fact that she was gonna not play softball. But anyway, so it's funny now because now, now he it. loves it and he looks forward to it. Braylon knew that we had this really long drive so she definitely prepared herself to try to keep herself occupied because Braylon is not very patient with anything in life. So she knew she had to bring things to keep her occupied in the car. We will give you a little bit of a room tour when we get there and then we will vlog the soccer tournament and keep you guys posted of how the weekend is going. Braylon. Braylon hates elevators. Braylon, the back of your head looks like a bird's nest. I know, it's because I was under the covers. So then when you're under the covers, it makes it ratty. 7-12, we're down this way. Okay, we are here. There's Braylon. We just went with a basic room this time because when we're at soccer tournaments, well, we do not spend much time here in our room. So we just went basic, just two beds, the desk, a TV, which is definitely necessary. We got a little refrigerator, coffee maker, ironing board, all this is necessary too. But the best part, the best part is right there. Look at her, isn't she so cute? Okay, the best part is look at our view. That is the best part. All right, we got a little bored in the hotel room, so we decided to go for a little walk and check out the town. Hopefully we can find a good ice cream place because I'm really hungry for some ice cream. Braylon, you want some ice cream? Yeah, we love ice cream, our favorite. Scott does not like ice cream. All right, we found an ice cream store. What'd you get? Mint chip. Mint chocolate chip. It's Yummy. white. It's white chocolate. Yeah, it's good. 
I got their special, which is, it's a Girl Scout cookie flavor. It's, um, what's it called again? Thin Mint Fudge. Thin Mint Fudge. Did you like this one? Did you try it? You gonna try it? It's all right. You love Thin Mint cookies. Oh. No? After this, we're just gonna walk. Yeah, after this, we're just gonna check out the town and see, see if there's anything else pretty cool to see down here. A lot of young people probably don't even know what this is. I do. Don't touch it. Why? Because I didn't even think they had these things around anymore. Do you know how much germs are on that thing? I'll tell you a story. When I was younger, we didn't have cell phones, so we had to rely on pay phones. And one time my car broke down and I was pregnant with Jordan and I had to walk miles just to get to a pay phone. So all of you kids nowadays should feel very lucky that you just have a cell phone handy at all times to call somebody in the case of an emergency. So that's not the way it was for us when we were young. Braylon, what is the first sign of spring for you? You want to show them what, what it is? Onion grass. It smells like she onions. loves it. She loves smelling it. I think it's disgusting. We are just down here checking out this beautiful scenery. It's such a nice day out. Walk along the water. Oh my gosh, don't come down that hill. No, 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 no. We're coming up. We're coming up. Look, I'm fine. Look, I got it. Okay. Hurt. Please don't fall. You have a soccer tournament. If I do fall, I'm not going to do it. It's not going to hurt anything in the ground. All right, go. You're going to roll. Well, professionals don't take this long. All right, Braylon's really, really excited. Her friend is finally here. So she has been itching and waiting patiently. So, of course, the first thing she wants to do is... Go swimming. Two, three. All right, it's game day. Braylon is dressed. We're just chilling for a little bit. We have about 15 minutes till we have to roll out of here. How are you feeling? Nervous? <laughs> she's she's definitely nervous. Like we said, she hasn't had a tournament or a game since November. So she's getting the jitterbugs. It's going to be a beautiful day here. It's about 65. And that's just beautiful, perfect weather for soccer. You got your hair all messed up now. So how are you feeling about today? That's the I'm so nervous, I don't know what to say right now. Excuse you. <laughs> That's the nervousness coming out. Oh, guys, watch this. I was doing this with Hayden last night, and then we'll do this, we'll jump over, and then we'll be like, I'm a bad <laughs> What are you doing? This is what Braylon does. When she gets nervous, no, she gets so no, listen, silly. And then jump back to your bed, and you do. I'm gonna have I know, but when you get when you get nervous, you get very silly. All right, let's get everything else packed up. We gotta be out of here in 15 minutes, okay?
we are back from soccer and we did not have a very good day. So first game, girls tied 2-2. Braylon's icing her knees uh, just because that's what the doctor told us to do when we were at the doctor's office right before we came down to the tournament. Uh, but the first game was tie 2-2. Braylon did not get a goal. Second game, big girls lost 0-5. to And Braylon's just feeling really bummed right now. She's a little frustrated, aggravated, um, all sorts of things right now. This is the first game that they have lost in over a year. They have won every game in regular season and they have won every single tournament. I think there was one game you tied, right? Out of the whole season. They yes. Gave up two goals. Yeah. Gave up two goals. So they only gave up two goals in the, in the last year. So the girls aren't used to getting a butt beaten like that of zero to five. So they're all really bummed and just not in a very good mood. But what are you eating? What is that? What is it? A marshmallow. Is that making you feel better? So yeah, the game was very intense. We had a parent get kicked out of the game. We had some angry parents on the other side that just really upset our parents, our coach. We had a player run off the field crying. Um, it was just very intense. The girls aren't used to this. They're used to winning all the time. And this year, this season is gonna be a lot different because they've been winning so much. They are moving up to division one. And so they're gonna have a lot of competition. And so the girls aren't used to this. The parents aren't used to this. So it was definitely a different type of game today. And so the girls are just bummed and upset and anyway, so. But the nice thing is they still have all day tomorrow. They have two games tomorrow. So hopefully they can come back and win one to make themselves feel better. So anyway, we will keep you posted on that too. Braylon's gonna take a shower and then we need to head out to get some dinner and then get a good night's sleep because she has to be back at the ball field tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. So it's gonna be an early morning. All right, we are up bright and early for day two. Braylon is dragging a little bit. We are exhausted. What are your goals for today? Win both games? A win and a win. A win and a win, okay. And how many goals are you aiming for this time? A one. One per game? Yeah. Okay, you're knocking it down a little bit. These teams are a little harder than what they played against before, which is good. They need this competition because they've won all the time. So it's good for them. It's really early, it's chilly. Yesterday we had such a nice day for soccer because we had the later games, but now it's so, ow, you're pulling my hair. Good, mm -hmm. now it's so cold out this morning. Five boogies. All right, so since it's so early, we're running a little behind, so we have got to get moving and get to the soccer field.
All right, so it's in between games. The girls won the first game. Who got the score? Heidi did. It was one. To it was one to nothing, and Heidi scored with the last ten seconds left of the game. Go, Heidi. All right, Braylon brought her snack crate with her, and she's going to do a little snack crate tasting with Heidi. Where is this one from? Let me see. What does it say? South Africa. So they're having a little recovery snack and they're gonna dig into their snack so, crate. Wait, there's two of them. So we got, no. Oh yeah, there's two of them. Don't open it. I'm not. So we got chicken flavored and how do you pronounce that? Ch Chutney. Chutney. Chutney flavored. Chutney flavored. Corn snacks. Sure are easy to snack. And this bag is bursting, bursting with, with the, the Really, Mom? Here, I can't even read it. Willard's cheese snacks. Wait, there's another one. Oh, wait. Chicken flavored. There's two chicken flavors. And this. And chutney flavored. All right, we'll go ahead and try it. Which one do you want to do first? Chicken. Um, oh, they didn't give you... It's either a tangy fruit chutney or savory roast no, we got chicken. Both. Yeah. So... It's a, oh, it's a popular corn snack. Well, I'm not excited about this. Me neither. Are well, just... Excited? How about you just do one? Delicious. Are they stinky? Yeah. yeah. Okay, here, pick one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are they gross? Uh -huh. Okay, that one was not good. Whatever this is, it's a salt. That's salt. the same thing, isn't it? The That's salt. the chutney flavored wine. Um, what even is chutney? It says a tangy like fruit barbecue. chutney. Mm. This looks like a barbecue. Okay. Again, not excited. Ooh. Go ahead, try it. Hurry up. Is that one not too bad? What do you think? Do you like it? You don't like it either? That one's not too bad? Okay. That one was okay? How about bad. you try the Lay's chips? Lay's chips or Lay's oh, chips? Can you just like chill your beans a little? Potato chips. It's a zesty onion. sweet onion flavor. Oh, and vinegar. Onion and vinegar. With real vinegar. You'll probably like these. Number one brand snack. Awkward flavor. Bar, bar one. Mm. A bar wine. Perfect for a 24 hour day. Enjoy layers of malted nougat, peanuts, Ooh, and caramel. Oh, All wrapped in delicious milk chocolate. <gasps> Look at it. Okay, here you go. Mm, this is like a Snickers, but no pretzel. Is it hard? Yeah. It's good. They were up 1-0 all the way up until what? The last 15 minutes of the game. The other team scored two goals on you. So Braylon's a little frustrated, but the snow cone is making her feel so much better. No goals for you this weekend. That's all right, you played like a beast though. All right, we're gonna hit the road. We have a five hour drive back home. It's been a long weekend. So we stopped to get something to eat and Braylon bites into her food and what happens? Uh. Turn this way. 
her tooth is about ready to fall out. You want me to pull it out? I'll do it. You're gonna pull it out? Yeah. All right, girl. Pull hard, don't be wimpy. Did you get it? Oh my gosh, Braylon. It just came right out. <laughs> was watch, it loose watch. at all? No. It wasn't loose at all. You couldn't feel it loose all weekend. Well, at That's the, crazy. The game, though. Never. You better... Okay. Well, I lost a hoop. Let me see it. In your hand. Let me see inside your mouth. Oh my gosh, Braylon. <laughs> well, I think that's the last tooth you had to lose. No. You don't think so? All right, well now finish eating so we can get back on the road. Okay, we are finally home. That was a long drive. Braylon, show them your tooth. <laughs> So my lips are so chapped. Her lips got really chapped. Our faces got burnt because it was so sunny. Um, anyway, but let's do a little recap on the weekend. So the girls, let's see, you tied two. Tied one. Tied one. Lost two. One, lost one. two. One one. Yeah. So one one. Tied one. Lost two. How how's that make you feel? How's that make you feel? You guys aren't used to losing, are you? Mm -mm. So how are you feeling about all that? Mm -hmm. So this tournament that they were in was a tournament to seed them. And then we have to go back in May for the actual tournament. So this is kind of like a practice basically to get them ready for the real deal in May. Uh, so now they know what types of teams they're gonna be going up against. And so they'll be ready for them. So that way, next time you guys can win, right? Yes. So they will be practicing a lot from now until May for this tournament. So especially the team that they lost zero to five, that's not going to happen again. Guarantee that, right? Yeah. All right. So we are going to get off to bed. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Keep a smile on the face. Peace.